Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. It is so good to see you. Hello to all my new subscribers. I was so happy that the last video got a couple more views than I expected. Today I am going to share with you something that is really important when you come to a country for the very first time, which is the do's and don'ts of South Korea. What is something that is culturally appropriate and what are things that you should better not do? Just so that when you come to Korea for the first time, you don't have any awkward encounters or get any negative feedback for something that you really didn't know. Watch this video and I hope it's helpful for you. The first thing you should do in South Korea is bow. And no, that is not a cliche. It is very basic etiquette in Korea to bow to people. As a greeting, when you thank somebody, don't go in a full 90 degree bow or in a deep bow because that's for superiors, your elders. Just do a little nod of the head. When you greet somebody, you can say 안녕하세요 along with it or just silently nod when you enter a shop. That is perfectly fine. You can also bow when you thank somebody. What you should not do is bow to your friends in Korea. Bowing to friends is a little bit awkward because yes you probably respect your friends but there is no need to do a big gesture of respect to the people who are close to you. To your friends you can just simply wave or give them a hug just like we would and don't bow to them. That's very awkward. <laughs> the next thing you should do in South Korea is to pay for a person after they paid for your meal. Now in Korea it is so common to share a big meal all together. Usually the the restaurants will offer meals that are already intended for two people which is why usually one of the two people is going to pay because it's just more practical it would be awkward to split the bill most systems don't even do that if your friend pays for the meal offer to pay coffee and cake afterwards or offer to pay the next meal when you go out it would be very inconsiderate to not pay and just let them pay all the time make sure to do the common courtesy and pay for the next meal. Another thing you should not do, and that was super shocking for me, don't tip. In Korea, for some reason, tips are not a thing. People don't give tips, people don't expect tips, so don't feel bad about it. After you had your meal, just pay and head out. Also, don't refuse to share a meal. That is super important in Korea. Eating in Korea is a sign of immunity, a sign of friendship, of love, of family. People who eat together belong together. Eating in Korea Korea is such a communal thing so if you do please don't insist on getting your own plate if you insisted on eating your own thing it would come across as wanting to be a part of that person please don't be weird about it if you're one of those I don't share my food people please share your food <laughs> for the love of God another thing you should not do and I know I have so many don'ts now please don't ask for a fork <laughs> I've got that question so many times where foreigners ask me, Corina, if I come to Korea, can I just ask for a fork and knife there? Let me ask you this question. If you come, let's say, to the US and you go to a Wendy's, can you ask for chopsticks there? Exactly. If you must have a fork and knife, if chopsticks are really uncomfortable for you, I'm not kidding. Bring your own little set. You know you have those travel sets? Just bring your own little fork and knife because most restaurants, especially the older, more established ones, won't have a fork and knife for you. And you will miss out on so much good Korean food if you insist on going to places who have forks and knives, like European restaurants, like pizza places, etc. I hope you did not come all the way to Korea to eat pizza there. I hope not. <laughs> Another thing you should do in Korea, if you hand something over, let's say you have some money, you wouldn't just give the money to the person like this. Always hand things over with two hands. Or you put your hand under the elbow and you hand things over like this. Or you can also put your hand on your ankle. Ankle? Wrist. Very natural, super common here. Please don't throw your money. You should never do that anyways. I hate when people just throw their money. Another thing you should do here is if you are on public transport, please leave the pink seats open. Korean public transport such as trains and buses have designated pink seats which are meant for pregnant women. If you sit on one of these seats, you will come across as very inconsiderate. Don't be surprised, sometimes you have the odd little 
little elderly lady sitting down there but elderly people also have their own special seats so if those seats are full usually the ladies sit down there those elderly seats that are designated for the elderly people are at the end of each subway cart so please also make sure not to sit there you might get yelled at by an elderly person or at least reprimanded <laughs> please don't sit there these seats are meant for elderly people so they can find seats quickly so please avoid these seats and sit in the middle seats of the cart something you should not do in public transport please don't talk loudly on the phone it is considered very rude if you can please text or if somebody calls you text them back if you can or if you must talk talk really quietly this basic etiquette like all the other things i mentioned people don't really do it and if you do see somebody talk noisily on the phone they are 100 considered a rude person and you don't want to be one of them i hope i could give you a couple of tips on how to behave in south korea things you should do things you should not do if you like this video please leave me a thumbs up because it really does help the algorithm. If you want to see more content about Korea, please subscribe to my channel. I have so many ideas for you guys. I have a long list. All I need to do is to film them and edit them. Now that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys! <laughs>